My name is Rishabh. Uh, my name is Abhishek. And my name is Prashil. Uh, I'm uh, Abhishek and I are currently in grade 12. We've just graduated our grade 12. And Prashil, uh, he's in grade 11. Uh, three of us together have made this uh, humanoid robot. Uh, it's it's been more than eight to nine months since we were working on this robot, and uh, it's just been a phenomenal uh, phenomenal experience. We've made it from scratch. We've three D printed all the parts over here. Um, I think uh, the total cost of this robot has uh, come to three lakhs over the eight months, and this is including all the different parts we spoiled and the. Uh, uh, we, I think we spoiled three or four of the uh, motors that are gone behind in making the arms work. Each arm consists of ten motors, including the fingers, the shoulder, the uh, elbow joint, and all. And also, the whole robot is 3D printed by our own cells. We are the only people in Gujarat who have created the whole robot, and we have 3D printed it itself. And uh, I think Robotrix India, as you can see, has helped us a lot in this. Uh, they have provided, uh, provided us with all the resources we required. Uh, so I would really like to thank Priyam sir, Vivek sir to help us through the entire journey. And I think we still have around uh, 6 to 8 months of, uh, of process to go because we have to make a lot of improvements in this. We have to uh, complete the entire body and uh, I think uh, then we'll have a much better product. Yeah, this is still a work in progress. And the best part is when we got the robot in hand, so our sir just gave us all the components and he doesn't matter if any component spoils. Actually the cost of one motor is 7000 and it's a bigger one but our sir never cared of any uh, component spoiling. It spoils so sir is like cool, we'll do it again. So it's always been a really nice experience, trial and errors, we got to learn a lot. Uh, how things work, how to troubleshoot, how to, uh, how to like not panic when things don't go right and then uh, find a way out through it. So uh, it's just been... Amazing. And the whole robot is uh, Bluetooth controlled, means it's a wireless robot controlled and it's controlled by this phone. So it's a simple app and we control it via Bluetooth, it's just one Bluetooth module. And you can pair it with any phone. So uh, all of you might be thinking ki hum log ab aage kya karne wale, what are we going to do in the 8 to 10 months, what are we thinking of upgrading, what's our aim goal, the last goal. So what we are thinking now is uh, this robot ha has artificial intelligence and it can do work by itself. So our uh, sir, Priyam sir got this idea initially when uh, one of his grandparents were, was ill and uh, he needed assistance but uh, they, like, it wasn't uh, practically possible that there was someone with him, uh, with her 24-7. So, uh, so, so then he got an idea of making this robot and uh, as you guys know in places like China and Japan they already, already have robots that can uh, that have AI and that can work by themselves so we are really aiming to go to that level. Yeah our goal is not just to stop here but explore with more sensors and integrate AI in this robot. We are even planning to uh, work on gesture control or muscle control so uh, the robot can copy our actions. And we are also going to include more parts like the hands, the stomachs, we are going to make us whole six feet humanoid. And uh, we are also going to make it with uh, internet control, like we can control it from anywhere yeah. in the forest, but it will try it. And it does not have hair. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll also put a wig on it. <laughs> we will try to make it as human as possible. <laughs>